driving along here and uh, this just popped up. So, don't know. It was perfectly fine and, uh, and now it's low. So let's see if we can find somewhere to look at this. It's time to leave Bozeman, so here goes nothing. This should take about a week. And first stop, or pass through, is Yellowstone. Averaging just over 30 miles per gallon so far. Not too bad. I'm hoping that we can keep this up for the whole trip. You should so never ask me. You, 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 never, never. you should never ask me about it. Yes, I've been to all my gun was shouting. Now I feel the pressure from the politics. It's how I deal with war at home. What you gonna do about it? I cannot find my way home with a foggy mind while I'm driving. Sometimes I feel all alone, like the world don't understand. I came back to the U.S. ground People been using me for agendas now when Political parties, they wanna pass me around Elef Elephant talkers, they wanna mascot now, now None of you own me, I've been on my own now So you wanna question me like Oprah now Did you shoot anybody and got them down? We routinely go 15 to 20 miles an hour below the I forgot how horrible Yellowstone actually smells. All the sulfur and stuff coming up from the, uh, the volcanic activity around here is just, it's like all rotten eggs. It's beautiful. But if you had smell vision, it may change your mind. So going through Yellowstone, um, I finally remembered to do something I've been meaning to do for quite a while, and that is ask for this. So if you are an active military member, that includes National Guard, Reserve, and of course, actual active duty, uh, you can go to any national park, show them your cat card, and request a free annual pass. It'll get you into all of them. I don't know how much it is for every park, but uh, Yellowstone is normally $35 per car. Uh, it might be the same ever. I don't know. Either way, it's a huge savings. Uh, just as a little thank you that they have. Uh, let's hear. Also got a map and a little newsletter type thing. I don't know. Shows you where to go in Yellowstone. Okay, it is about 9 p.m. And stop somewhere in South Dakota fueling up. Uh, only a second time fueling up today. This thing's been doing amazing actually on on fuel economy i think we're a little over 27 miles per gallon average total on the freeway over 30 miles per gallon so really good considering 
you know what is and what we're doing uh quite comfortable but i really do need to stretch out a bit um i could use a snack too and unfortunately this place is closed so uh looks like i'll be finding something else Ooh, gas just popped while I was out here, uh, there's three cars that have passed me now with a G-Force Rally sticker uh, along the whole door panel. And one of them was actually a Maserati, which is kind of cool. The other two were Dodge Challengers. So um, I'm not exactly sure what it is. I looked it up and it's a rally going to Minnesota, but they weren't all together. So that's a little odd. I don't know. Anyways, G-Force Rally, if you're watching this uh, and I'll, I'll tag you in it somehow, um, let me know what's up. These little bugs seem to love the car. Look at this. <laughs> They're just like throwing themselves at it. Huh. It is about midnight. We're in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Uh, so as per usual, it's time to go camping at a truck stop. Not Walmart this time. Somewhere in here. There we go. Debating whether or not to even use a sleeping bag. I don't know. Okay, it's actually pretty warm out. Uh, so I've just got a jacket here and a little snack and some water. And lay the seat back. Ooh. Well, that, thing, that thing goes quite a ways. You know. uh, get a little shut eye in the morning, get back on the road. Hey, good morning. Um, slept surprisingly well. Uh, time to get back on the road. Something for the video that I love about the C8. The mirror is, of course, a camera on the 2LT and the 3LT, and it gives you an excellent view of the rain compared to the actual mirror. You basically can't even see that truck exists with its light on. Right here, clear as day. Good God! Michigan! What the hell is wrong with you? 1,800 miles in two days. Very much time to rest. Luckily, my friends Annie Diego put me up here in Burke, Michigan. So, I'll be hanging out here for a day or so, get a little work done. Uh, do a lot of stretching because my legs are sore from just sitting for basically two days straight. But hey, at least the windshield's clean now. I want to talk about power. Look at that thing. How many freaking mega kajillawatts does that put out, huh? In Ohio now, uh, on the way to Pennsylvania. Had a great time with my friends in Michigan. Uh, got some Tim Hortons on the way. Uh, kind of hitting up all those little regional places that we don't get in Montana. Got about another seven hours or so to go stop at the hotel. And then tomorrow is something special. And I'm not, I'm not sure if I can tell you about it yet. But you'll find out. Pennsylvania. Here we are. Look at all the hills. Thank you. At the hotel in Pennsylvania, um, and I'm wearing this because of reasons that I can't say on YouTube, I think, without being demonetized. Um, but I think everyone pretty much knows what's going on in the world, right? So, uh, it's required in the hotel lobby. This thing will not stay up. There we go. I uh, gotta get all my stuff into my hotel room. Car needs to be completely empty for tomorrow's event. Uh, more to follow. Got everything wrapped up. You have to open up. You can only sit outside. 
and uh, I've seen this in several places now, QR codes for all the menus, which are pretty neat. Bugs. Oil from a car I was behind that had a really bad oil leak going on. See that. More bugs. And of course the engine bay is just just absolutely filthy. Uh, so we're just gonna have to wipe that down tomorrow. Some more detail on After three different car washes, I uh, ended up at Auto Spa here in Wyoming and a really good job. Okay, about to do the next part of the video. And I think Brian's about to take off. <laughs> okay, where, where the dovetail mount is on the top, and there's nothing attached to it. Yeah, because I guess like holding the leg doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay, yesterday was amazing. I mean, I you know, all of you guys may not be uh, geeking out quite as much as I am. But I got to spend all day yesterday with Nick and Brian uh, from Regular Car Reviews, uh, do everything on the C8, of course. Uh, got to drive the, uh, the Vagabond Falcon. I was kind of fangirling all day. However, over the last few days, I've been getting this ache in my ear. And uh, so I went to a clinic. Um, it, it's feeling like you know sinus infection or ear infection, somewhere, somewhere in that range. Uh, turns out sinus infection and the NP that I saw there, the nurse practitioner, uh, was an Air Force nurse before that. And you can tell that she does uh, military medicine right. So usually if you go in and, and see one of these uh, clinics or something, <clears throat> they'll you know, say, okay, well, here's this one pill you take for like the next 17 years. I mean, it's, you know, usually two weeks or whatever. But the military does things a little bit differently. They just want to either kill you or the virus. We'll see which one survives. And uh, that's basically what she did. Man, I've got enough medication knocked down a fucking horse. And I think I'm going to be okay. So hopefully this stuff starts kicking in here pretty soon. Uh, it's only like a four or five day treatment plan. And that's if it takes that long. Uh, so now I'm going to go uh, help Nick swap out an alternator. And then, uh, yeah, time to get back on the road and visit some family in Maryland, last stop before Virginia. New alternator. Hopefully it works. It works! So okay, in 
<clears throat> Maryland now, visiting my aunt and uncle. Be here for a couple days and then uh, on to Fort Lee. Um, he has quite a cool little collection of cars. I still need to get most of them up and running, but damn, I would love to have that Triumph. Um, they've got a, a beautiful place here just to come and relax um, and help them get some chores done and yeah, and get on getting on into this four month training cycle. can't see it, but there's a bocce ball court way past the garage here. You can hear the road a little bit, but it's pretty quiet. <laughs> yeah, you already had yours, huh? This place is great. Okay, got a shave and a haircut. Uh, ready to go report in here pretty soon. Still have a decent drive ahead of us. It's lunch at some point. Yes, I mean me and my luggage. Um, yeah, moving right along. Weekend was great here in Laurel. It's time to get to Virginia. In Washington, D.C. now. You can see the Washington Monument. 3,002.3 miles later, here we are. Well, it is time to go get checked in. Um, get all my packet in the hotel. And then bunker down for a while. Okay, front door, uh, microwave, or one burner stove, maybe two, mini fridge, bathroom, all my stuff that was in the car, the bed, uh, desk, TV, and actually I haven't looked outside yet. See here. Oh, not a bad view either. So during the quarantine, I am stuck in my room for 14 days. Yay! But at least the view is pretty good. Specifically, right there. There she is. We'll see how I'm lonely. I wonder if I can start it from here. Okay, let's see. Oh, these people are just about to get out of their car too, so if it does work. Oh, it locks. Okay. Well, I barely got their attention at all. But hey, remote start works. Neat. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to go to dadbod.marketing for all of your free business and marketing advice. Please like, share, and subscribe if you got something out of this video. And don't forget to check out our other videos right here. Okay, so slight change of plans. Apparently I will get to use my car once. Uh, we have to go get COVID testing. So right up the nose. Well, that was fun. Um, it just kind of tickles. Honestly, it's like a little scratchy sensation in the back of your nose. Stick a little swab in twice, big swab. Um, wasn't too